welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you that are new, my name is Raquel, and I'm going to be giving a, you a monthly reading um, for the month of October. This will go for Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus signs on Pisces. So, um, if you are a cross watcher, you are also welcome. And what I'm going to be doing with this reading is I'm going to be pulling an oracle of our card, the Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle. And this will be your general moon message for the month of October. And then I'm going to be summing it up with the Mystic Dreamers um, Tarot. So I'll give you a tarot reading. And then I'm going to pull a romance oracle card and also a um, advice or last message card from my Alice in Wonderland oracle. All right, so let's get started with your reading, Pisces. Um, now, I just want you all to remember not to give up your power to a reading, okay? You alone have the... <laughs> can only make your choices. These are just possible outcomes and they are for the general. So don't take what doesn't resonate with you and um, whatever doesn't resonate with you, you can just take it to the curb and take what it does. Okay? Alrighty. So soul family. My soul family. What do we got for Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October. What is the moon message for Pisces? Please and thank you, my soul family. <laughs> Pisces. This is interesting. <laughs> you have obedience. So some of you through the month of October... I'm feeling like you're going to be getting back into routine schedules and um, really uh, looking at your your health and your wealth and getting things in order. You're going to be prioritizing, maybe cutting out bad habits. Um, and the moon just wants you to know to keep up with it, to make sure that you keep your routines in check, that you don't that you don't stray from your plan. We got four and eight, four and eight is 12, which breaks down to a three. So it's all about putting in that extra effort to get to get to your goals, to get your dreams um, moving, to, to move in the direction where you plan to be. So it's all about adding a little more effort this month. All righty, so let's see what the tarot has to say for you, Pisces. Soul family. What do we have for Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on for the month of October? You know, I'm getting strict workout routine with that. So some of you are probably dieting or trying to get back into better health. Um, I feel like some of you yoga might be a good practice to take up. The obedience is about to catch on fire here. <laughs> yeah, so some of you are really, um, really, really putting in the effort. Really putting in the effort this month. Becoming stricter with yourselves. Things. I buy, I bought them to keep up my cards, and they never keep up my cards. They always fall over. All right, there we go. But yeah, so I feel like no matter what deters you, no matter what the determine, you're, you're going to keep that determination. You're going to keep that obedience. You're going to make sure that um, you stick to your guns and you stick to your plans. That's what I'm getting off of that. And we've got eight of wands as your underlying energy. So this could be a new form of communication. This could be... Um, uh, information, you gathering information about your strict workout routine or your strict diet routine or whatever it is that you're planning on making changes in your life. It's about you 
gathering information, maybe some type of information is going to come in around that. I see um, you listening to spirit more, you really taking um, an effort and putting a lot of energy into um, creating this new self that you want to create. We have the Hierophant for the beginning of the month. So this is all about you taking the time, you putting in the um, extra effort to learn, to learn about um, what it is you are going to do, um, the next steps that need to be taken. Some of you, it's gathering advice from others who have walked that path before you. We have the Knight of Wands as your mid-month. So this just goes to show, hold on a second. Sorry about that, my son came home. All right, so you've got Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands as your mid-month. So this could be somebody coming in um, to help you. This could be an advisor. This, you know, I, I really don't think it is because it's a knight. But I feel like this is somebody coming in that wants to um to do the same thing has the same goals as you um it's going to really motivate you really help you when you're feeling stuck when you're feeling that slump like you just don't want to keep doing this um it also could just be your energy you know going forward gaining the knowledge at the beginning of the month and really going forward with it throughout the rest of the month Seven of Pentacles at the end of the month. So I feel like this, it all speaks of you gathering the knowledge, um, having a strict routine, listening to those who um, know, listening to those who know how to, to go about this um, situation or this endeavor that you're doing. Um, Mid-month, I really see you putting forth the effort, you really charging into it. You, um, no holds barred, nobody can hold you back type of feel. And then towards the end of the month, I see you kind of like mellowing down and like really evaluating, seeing how um, all this work and progress you've been trying to do, see how it's coming in for you. All right. So what we got clarifying the Hierophant is the sun. So this tells me that... Um, this knowledge or this new stuff that you gain here, this new knowledge, what is being influenced is you wanting to have a more happier, stable life. Okay, you got the Hierophant and you have the sun behind you at the beginning of the month. So this is just like your passion, you're happy, you're you're ready for that next chapter. So that's why you're all gun ho about learning as much as you can with this situation. I really feel like this is a health situation. Um, I don't like to read for health, but I feel like this is you wanting to get in better health, either spiritually, physically, or mentally. Whatever the case may be for that, I really feel like it's you gaining the knowledge and you having this like optimistic outlook for this. The Knight of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune clar clarifying the Knight of Wands. So all this um, energy that you're putting into it, all this learning, all this going forth as fast as you can and rushing into it, this is a good place for you to be, Pisces. This is helping your wheel turn for the better. You are really um, taking the steps that you need to take here. Uh, we've got three major arcana right here. This is you really charging in Pisces. You really, really going for it. The chariot, and then we'll get the chariot, right? Clarifying the seven of wands. So what it's saying, what spirit's saying to me um, towards end month, you're going to get into this slump because you've been going so hard all month with this because you're determined. You really want this change in your life. Okay, so you're determined and you're charging forward. And towards the end of the month, you might start feeling a little um, low on energy because you've expended it so much throughout the month. And it's like you're now you're like stepping back and you're like, what have I gained from this? 
how has this helped me? And spirit is saying, don't do that. Don't get stuck in the, uh, in the, um, don't get stuck in the analyzing and the overthinking and what is coming my way. You need to keep moving forward with this. You need to just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Have the obedience and the discipline to move forward. But do it at steady paces. I'm hearing do it at steady paces because you don't want to get burnt out. So you need to do it at steady paces but not lose your routine, if that makes any sense, Pisces. All right. So now we're going to get a romance angel card. And let's see what... Um, what these cards have to say for you. <clears throat> so family, <clears throat> what's up with Pisces? Pisces in love for the month of October 2019. What can Pisces expect in love for October 2019? Please and thank you, my soul family. Ooh. Okay, Pisces. So whether you're single or whether you're married, true love, this is the romance of a lifetime. So for those of you who are single, single Pisces, I see that sometime this month, you're going to be noticed and you're going to be recognized. Somebody is going to come in, and it could be that night of wands. Maybe you meet somebody at the gym, or maybe you meet um, a person that is um, more spiritually advanced than you, and you're trying to advance yourself spiritually, or you could meet this person. Whatever, wherever it is, I feel like you meet this person with what you are doing, with the obedience thing we have here. Okay, so they're going to have the same interests as you. They're going to um, be your motivation. They can also be your counsel, this information coming in here to help you um, with your, your path. Um, I really feel like this is somebody that's in, that's in the same drive and same motivation as you. For those of you who are in relationships, um, the relationship that you're in right now it is true love. This is the person for you. Okay, this is your this is your person, and it looks like um, your person. If your person isn't on board right now, it looks like they're going to be getting on board um, in the month of October because we have that Nine of Wands mid month. So they might see the um, passion and effort that you're putting in in the beginning of the month, and they might want to hop on board and go with you towards the end of the month. But don't burn yourself out, and don't stop to smell the roses or see how many you've collected, okay? Just keep going. Keep up the same momentum. Um, go at your own pace, though. Know your limits. All right. So let's get one final message for you, Pisces, for the month of October. Spirit, soul, family. What final message do we have for Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of October 2019, what is the final message here? Please and thank you, my soul family. Ooh, okay. Pisces. So, um, and it happens. I mean, it will happen. Um, when you are, let me just say, okay, so you got this card. Keep your temper, all right? Don't allow anger to rule you. So it happens <laughs> when we are so focused on something and we are so goal-oriented that when little distractions come in, it can irritate us. You need to keep your temper. Do not let your temper go out the window when it comes to everything. Don't let this whole thing consume you this month. Because if you let it consume you, you're going to burn out and you're going to be temperamental. So don't, you know, don't let your temper overrule you. Keep your temper. 
do this at a nice, slow, steady pace. I know that the Knight of Wands is fast, ambitious, ready to go in there, um, has some knowledge on the subject, but you don't want to go through too fast because you've got three major arcana on the bottom here as your influencer. So, you know, the universe really wants you to get this done. They're really pushing at you to get this done, but they're, t they're saying, don't go so fast. Make sure you take times for little breaks here and there, but don't deviate from your routine. There's got to be a certain amount of obedience here and balance, okay? All right, Pisces. Well, I hope that um, helps you out um, for what you can look forward to in October. If it resonated with you, please let me know how your month plays out in the comments. Um, if it didn't, please go check out your moon, sun, and or your moon and rising moon Venus signs. Um, thank you all for all your likes, shares, comments, subscribes. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please hit it and hit the bell so you can be notified when I have other um, monthly uploads. Okay, well, take care, Pisces. I will see you next video.